Well, everything in the world is a little strange. We need to remember we need to remember that 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 God is in control of of it all. And while everything in the world is a little strange, we need to remember that God has a plan and he loves us. Like Daniel in the lion's stand, we might feel like we have no control. We might feel be scared or worried, but God has the power to protect us and save us, even when things don't go the way we hope. God promises to keep, take care of those who believe in Him. Summary of Daniel six: Daniel is made a chief official of the kingdom. The other two. Chefs didn't like him, but he never did anything the king didn't like. So they convinced the king to make a law that no one could worship anything or anyone except King Darius. But Daniel kept his routine. He kept praying to God three times a day. When the king found out, he was sad because he really liked Daniel. But because of the law he had made, he threw Daniel into the lion's den. The king was very worried and didn't sleep all night. Early the next morning, he went to check on Daniel and was ringside to find Daniel alive. God had protected him from the lions. King Darius got Daniel out of the lion's den and praised God. Then he punished the other chefs by putting them in the lion's den instead because Daniel was faithful to God. The whole nation got to see just how awesome God is. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3.22-3.3 ESV of taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. Psalm 24, 8-9. Darius thought it would be a good idea to choose 120 governors they would roll through all of his kingdom, and each of three men as supervisors over those 120 governors. Daniel was one of these three supervisors. The king set up these men so that he would not be cheated. Daniel showed that 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 plan to put Daniel in charge of the whole kingdom so the other super, super supervisors and the governors tried to find reasons to accuse Daniel but he went on doing the business of the government and they could not find anything wrong with him so they could not accuse him of doing anything wrong Daniel was trustworthy he was not lazy and did not cheat the king. Finally, then, these men said, We will never find any reason to accuse Daniel, but we must find something to complain about. It will have to be about the law of his God. So the supervisors and the governors went as a group to the king. They said, King Darius, live forever. The supervisors, assistant governors, governors, the people who advise you and the captains of the soldiers have all agreed on something. We think the king should make this law that everyone would have to obey. No one should pray to any god or man except to you or our king. This should be done for the next 30 days. Anyone who doesn't obey will be thrown into the lion's den. 
Now our king make the law, write it down so it cannot be changed. The laws of the Madis and Persians cannot be canceled. So King Darius made the law and had it written. When Daniel heard that the new law had been written, he went to his house. He went to his upstairs room. The windows of that room opened toward Jerusalem. Prayed times each day, Daniel got down on his knees and prayed. He prayed and thanked God, just as his, just as he always has done. Then those men went as a group and found Daniel. They saw him praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king. They talked to him about the law he had made. They said, "Didn't you write a law that says no one?" Men pray to any god or man except you or our king. Doesn't it say that anyone who disobeys during the next thirty days will be thrown into the lion's den? The king answered, "Yes, I wrote that law, and that and the laws of the Medes and Persia cannot be cancelled." Then those men spoke to the king. They said, "Daniel is." one of the captives from judah and he is not paying attention to the law you wrote daniel still prays to his god three times every day the king came became very upset when he heard this he decided to end to save daniel he worked until sunset trying to think of a way to save him then those men as a group to the king they said remember our king the law of Medes and persian it says that no law or command given by the king can be changed. So King Darius gave the order. They brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May the God you serve all the time all, all the time save you. And being stone was brought, it was put over the opening of the lion's den. Then the king used his signet Ring to put his special seal on the rock, and he used the rings of his loyal officers to put their seals on the rock also. This showed that no one that no one could move that rock and bring Daniel out. Then, then. Then King Darius went back to his place, palace. He did not eat that night. He did not have any entertainment brought to entertain him, and he could not sleep. The next morning, King Darius got up at dawn. He hurried to the lion's den, and as he came near the den, he was worried. He called out to Daniel. He said, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God that you always worship been able to save you from the lions? Daniel answered, My king, live forever. My God sent his angel to close to close to close to close to close the lion's mouth. They have not hurt me, because my God knows I am innocent. I never did anything wrong to you, my king. King Darius was very happy. He told his servants to lift Daniel out of the lion's den, so they lifted him out and did not find any injury on him. This was because Daniel had trusted in his God. Then the king gave a command. The men who had accused Daniel were brought to the lion's den and thrown into it. Their wives and children were also thrown into it. The lions grabbed them before they hit the floor of the den, and the lions crushed their bones. Then King Darius wrote a letter. It was all to all people and all nations, to those who spoke every language in the world. I wish you great wealth. I am making a new law. This this law is for people in every part of my kingdom. All of you must fear and respect the God of Daniel. 
Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. He, God rescues and saves people. God does mighty miracles in heaven and on earth. God saves Daniel from the power of the lions. So Daniel was successful during the, the time that Darius was king. This was also the time that Cyrus the prison was king. It means that, that we need to have faith in God. We need to ask God for deliverance. God's going to deliver you. God's going to deliver us at the right time. When we obey him and trust him and fully surrender to, to God's will for us right now in God's plan. We need to accept that God is king. We need to accept God is Lord of all things. We need to accept that God is working it out. Your faith is being tested right now. Your faith is being rebuilt. And I bless that God will heal you of all your wickedness and sins. I believe that God is going to heal you from all your sickness and repentance from what you've done wrong. I believe that God is in control of all of it. I believe that God is in control. 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 I believe He's helping me through things. I believe He's going to get us out of this mess.